that is what is going to happen now this is my first first time my ID I'm going to tell more about my ID but first my ID is that one hour every vlogs I'm doing is going to be one hour from now I know I should have done this before I started but at the same time I want to have it a little bit authentic oh, oh. friend asked me why don't you take and uh, why don't you train upstairs but the thing is that the kids are there I need to move away the light and the camera and everything and then I need to do it every time I'm going to train but here first of all I'm alone and but first of all again I can have my rig rigged up all the time. And the reason why I want to do a, a training vlog or something like that is because I have got uh, some pain in my hip. In my left hip I have a uh, pain. So uh, I'm going to train here one hour every day and uh, but not only that but I'm also thinking that this could be an opportunity I can make this basement look nice so that's also part of my project to use my carpentry skills and make it nice here and uh, I don't have the I don't have the equipment for streaming yet, but I'm going to order it. But this is the first episode, no streaming. But I make it as uh, like it is a streaming episode, if you know what I mean. And uh, today I will train without music. And. Uh, yeah, but as you can see, 
it's uh, it's not that nice here. I can show you a bit how it is here. And here you have another room. And another room there. And uh, here is my light. I very often I use a soft box, but today I I do it like this. And today I just want to have a beginning. I don't know exactly what uh, this project will do to me or but uh, I know that I want to try it now for seven days and uh, and see if this is something to do or some or uh, to put it away and do something else as a filmmaker I'm not not successful but I'm earning money for uh, making films and uh, but as a YouTuber, I'm not successful at all. As a YouTuber, I really sucks. I really... I'm not good uh, at that. And one of the reasons why I'm not good as a YouTuber is because... I never had a plan what to do with me and YouTube and those kind of things. So today it's more like uh, practicing, talking, and training, and stuff like that. And of course, I'm not a training expert or anything, but... I'm thin. I lost uh, 20 kilos two years ago. I was 113, and nowadays I haven't checked my weight today, but uh, I am uh, about uh, around 92 kilos, 94, 95, 92. Depends from day to day and is it in the morning I'm going on to the weight or is it in the evening and uh, But one of my ideas is that uh, Oi, some I need to uh, <laughs> Okay, you are living your own life. Maybe I should get a monitor for my... I'm filming with Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, just so you know. things I have here. This is uh, probably for a boat or something. And then I can train like this. My plan is that I'm going to stream my morning routine, my new morning routine that I'm going to train every morning. <clears throat> but this is actually, I think this is a good exercise. A 
friend of me told me that I'm not doing training. I'm doing comfort game. But uh, the best advice I can give to everybody is that start soft, start light, like me. Don't put your goal too high that I'm going to have, uh, going to train. Of course, in a way, I am doing it a bit high because I'm going to train one hour every morning for one week. And uh, this time, I will uh, not uh, stream it. But I will not buy the equipment for streaming yet. But if this will be successful, a successful thing that I feel like, hmm, this is good for me. And uh, yeah, it's okay to put it out on YouTube and stuff. And uh, then I will uh, keep going. I never thought about this before I'm doing it, but uh, it's a good exercise, isn't it? And in the future, this room will be so nice. I will put some concrete on the floor and paint the walls, put in some doors. And, and I see possibilities here because I'm a filmmaker and this can be a studio in a way. I can have I can have a green screen here and then it can be like a studio. Even maybe I can even make a professional green screen instead of uh, that I put uh, a plate, green plates and uh, and I see that uh, it's not only about training but it can be good for me as well to I can study some English as well to make my English pronounces better, to speak better English. But uh, one of uh, my ideas is that when I start to use the basement, the basement will be more nice. But the way it has been is that we are not using the, our basement. But now I'm using it and I'm planning to use it. And then it will be nicer here. But of course, I have pain in my hips and I have had it for a month now. A month of pain and uh, I think the only way to fix myself is to train. But of course, I'm not a professional one, but uh, I try to trust my instincts. Okay, I want to do one, just checking one time. I know I'm trying to pretend 
that I'm doing a live streaming now, right now, but I'm not actually doing it, it's only a test, but I want to check how it looks like, because what if I'm shooting for one hour and you don't see my head? I like the, the roughness of, of the look, it's, uh, it's a bit dirty, it looks dirty here, but um, it's how it looks right now, but uh, in the future it will look different here. And certainly I see it so clearly that uh, I need to practice my English and uh, to be better there because uh, right now my English uh, pronounces is so bad. Um, my girlfriend is a Filipina and uh, I talked English better before I met because uh, then when I was speaking English with people I was only speaking speaking English but now I do Nortago Nortago I mixed with the Norwegian and no no I meant Nor Norengla I mixed with uh, Norwegian and English Not England, not England, not England, I speak not England. It's good I'm a man. If I had been a girl, there had been uh, what the fuck are you doing on YouTube? Or the, been uh, deleting the video, but I'm not a girl or a woman. But my plans is not that I'm going to be so strong and so big, it's more that I want to, to stay happy. That's my, that's what I want. I want my body to feel fit, good, fit and good. And as well, I want to add a new routine into my life. Yeah, that's the thing. Someone sent me a message. to answer my mother they've been here for some days
for perfect seven more minutes, I can do something different. As a filmmaker, I must say that uh, I feel that I need uh, at least a monitor so I can see myself or two cameras so I can switch between two angles when I'm training. See, I'm not in uh, a good shape. I'm 41 years old and I'm in a bad shape. But who 
knows if I can do this every day for uh, not every day because that's impossible because things are happening that maybe I need to travel with work and stuff and then I will not be home but when I am home then I want to do it every day training for one hour and I'm trying to just listening to my body and feel like what do my body need and uh, that's it I'm trying to use my instincts when I start streaming I can also stream different things if I am trying to do some uh, something here something with the walls or something with the floor or do something carpenter stuff I can stream that as well because it looks so bad here, doesn't it? It doesn't look that nice. And of course my girlfriend doesn't want me to show this place because I'm putting myself in in a bad way because people look here and they see and they think what the fuck is it with this man? Is he a homeless or something like that? But it's the same as the best thing had been if I was like I was two years ago that I was 20 kilos more fat on my body and uh, but uh, of course no I'm not fat anymore but I don't have a trained body you can see that I'm only thin but I'm not strong and in a good shape and it had been very cool if my body had a transformation but the same with the room that the room had a transformation to something more nice that had been awesome kind of uh, of stretching I never saw the benefits of uh, streaming but now I actually do so I see the microphone can be a little bit more upward probably I will do something with a microphone as well because I think I need to have the sound more close to me but as I told you this is the first episode the first test so things will be different uh, in the future in a 
Norwegian we have the word uh, called client. Client is uh, when a person is a bit stupid and he's saying stupid things in front of other people and the rest of the people is like oh my god oh I'm so happy I'm not that person because he is so fucking stupid maybe he lost his brain in an accident or something that's a, a word called client So, um, until now, I will only do streaming with me and training and stuff, but you never know, we also have a food truck, so I will probably do something with the food truck as well, or actually it's not a food truck, I don't remember the name, the Matvon on Norwegian, it's not the... Uh, you have to put it on a car and then the car go boom 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 with it. So it's not a food truck because a food truck you can drive and you have everything with you. But we don't have that but yeah. There are there are so many things uh, I can do with uh, this channel. But uh, for now because I want to have it a little bit easier. If I'm doing it too complicated, then uh, then it will uh, be stealing my time. And I don't have time to make complicated and good videos on YouTube because I need to earn money. And uh, of course, I know that if I'm doing complicated good videos on YouTube every day. There will be a day where I will earn money, but so far, right now, I have bills to pay, and then I I can't use too much time on YouTube. But who knows? Maybe this will be an opening, and as well, I'm doing commercial videos for companies and stuff. So. Uh, that is also taking a lot of time. And as well, I have noticed lately that my uh, computer is getting a little bit slow. So uh, I need to do something. Uh, one day I need to do something there as well. I need to start to put some money to that computer. But I also see there are things. Sometimes I'm thinking that maybe video filmmaking is what is holding me back as a person. Because how I have been doing it is that I'm earning money and then I'm buying film equipment. But, and uh, the money is flying. Boom! We are flying away when I'm buying film equipment. So I'm thinking sometimes, what if I have been spending my money in other things? Things that are gaining money, that I'm getting more money. So, uh, of course I have many more things in my list of film equipment I want to buy, but as well I'm not earning that much money on filming. And you know, I'm not sure what to do. But you have the food truck. And the food truck is gaining money five days a week. And I'm happy that we have our food truck. But of course, as you see, I'm stretching now as well. I'm stretching. 
and uh, when it comes to men there are a lot of focus about gaining muscles and being big and those kind of things but when you are passing 40 years old then it's time to think about stretching as well and maybe exercises like yoga it seems like ah yoga that's for women that's for women but uh, yoga i think yoga can be good for us men to do as well because there is a lot of men there are tons of men in my age who have knee problems and if you have knee problems i am pretty sure that stretching and those kind of things is very good for us i'm not 20 anymore i'm 41 on something that is not that heavy zoom in a little bit so yeah, and because of the sound and air oh 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 like that and then uh, I take a focus uh, on the stone There we have a good focus. And then like that. We just uh, we just see and try. Oh. 
Oh. Hopefully, I am in the frame now, and uh, I am in a good focus as well. If I do this every day, I will be big and strong. Now I'm training my fingers as well because I read something and now I saw a YouTube video. It was uh, one of my mentors, YouTube mentors, Dan Pena is his name, and uh, he said in a video that man, men has become more female and females have become more men. And the result is that the hand uh, pressure, when you say hello to someone, the modern man is not having a good uh, squeeze when he say hello. We are a little bit too light. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, yeah, that was what Dan Pena told me that we need to have a stronger handshake men need to become more men we need to be yeah, like we are supposed to be not uh, evil or anything like that but we need to be more men and that's and I need it too I am not in the peak. I'm not in my peak in my life. I'm not earning enough money and uh, stuff. But I will do. To be tougher is important part of being a man. And failing is not necessarily bad, but at school we learn that don't fail, don't fail, don't fail, don't fail. And in videos, in movies as well, he have been failing. And. Uh, Maybe it is important to fail sometimes. If you want to be a man, it's important to fail. If you don't fail, you are not living life. But of course, I don't want to fail that much anymore. I'm tired of failing. But failing is the road to success. That's what I think. Ah! Wah! 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 And a part of being an adult is that you are losing the child in you and
Tu, Tri, Pira, Firm, Sert, Tu, Otta, Ni, Tu. Do like Raymond. Train like Raymond. Hard. I just saw it right now. I didn't. I wasn't thinking about that we had it here, the rocket ring. But I'm not so good in this anymore, or I've never been either. But I remember one time I was uh, playing with my cousin, and that day. Suddenly I become so good and I could stay like this for for minutes. Bang, 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 bang. But I don't know the technique anymore. But maybe this exercise is very good for me. Because my main problem nowadays is my hip. My left hip is not perfect anymore. And uh, I want to be perfect. So that's why I'm training every damn day now. Of course, maybe one of the most important things to do here down in the basement is to get electricity because uh, there is no electricity in this room where we are now and uh, it had been nice to have some electricity. But my theory is that I don't need to learn how to use a rocket ring. I just need to train and one day I will break the code. We are in July now, maybe in December I will do it perfectly. In December I will be so good at this. This was not easy for me. There! There I did something. I know the technique now. I need to use like fast. Like doing something, you know. 
Enough for this time, but this I will start to use the rocket ring more often. I will also look at the dictionary to see if there is an English name for the rocket ring. Maybe it is a rock ring. And then I do some more martial art training. Whoa! Wah! Wah! Yeah! 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 Hey. I'm not backing down. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I must see if I'm not going to get the clock on. Yeah, but I'm going to get the clock on. Yeah, but I'm going to get the Men ni andra ska du komma och se hej till kamera. Ja men. I don't have much more uh, so much more time left because the time is going so fast when we have fun. Time just going so fast when we have fun. Time just going so fast when we have fun. So I can actually start to count down. I have only four minutes left. So I want to do some uh, kicking. I've known since 17 you and me are meant to be. And I can't say I understand. I just want to hold your hand. Don't believe that. But it had been very cool if from the one year from now I had been in so I had been so fit that I had been like a ninja in a way. But as well that the basement had looked so nice and this place where you are in now had become more like a studio, like a film studio, training studio and film studio. Because I want to put out, put on green screen behind here and do something. I don't know what. It can also be a photo studio as well. The possibilities are endless. But I know. I'm saying stupid things now, and I'm doing stupid things now, but still, it's only about one thing here in life, and it's about having good energy within your body. I lost a friend, one of my best friends, a filmmaker, he did committed suicide, he killed himself because he wasn't happy in his life and uh, life is too short it's not easy to be in another person's life and I don't know why he 
committed suicide. I didn't. I don't know how he committed suicide either. But he's not here anymore, and it's so sad. No, it's he. He, he died in 2017. So uh, for me, he's a reminder of having a good life. How important it is but of course how to have a good life is so easy to say that you have to have a good life you have to focus on the positive things and blah 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 but it's not that easy but I think and I believe that training as a part of your life will automatically give us a good life and having good routines in our life, good routines that make us happy. And to find good routines that make us happy, then you need to look in things in your life that will make you happy. But of course, training is the same as health. Health is important, but money is also important. I have jobs. I have a job, I get some uh, film clients and I do jobs for them and we have the food trucks and I work a lot in the food truck as well. So I have job, jobs to do and uh, but I'm not earning enough. I'm not feeling happy that ah, I have so much money, I want more and I will have more and my energy is that I'm going to have more money. That was it for today. Live your life good.